Animal Justice is about to go in there and make arguments this morning in an important case. It's a case where the Vancouver Aquarium is suing a filmmaker who made a documentary exposing the aquarium for the cruelty of keeping whales and dolphins in captivity in tiny tanks. And what we're fearful of is that this case could launch a war on whistleblowers in this country. The highest court in BC has said that this is a really important issue. And we're here today to stand up for animals, to be a voice for them, but to also defend democracy and free speech. Captivity is wrong. Captivity is cruelty. It's, it's animal abuse, period. This is very important for all artists across Canada. So we can, have, uh, we can restore freedom of expression and uh, be able to use copyright law the way it should be used. It could uh, give animal use industries another tool to shut down undercover investigations into animal cruelty. And that would be extremely bad for animals. The last thing that we need is more legal blocks in the way of protecting them. We just finished in court for the day. Animal justice intervened in this important case. It went very well for us because you know we have all the evidence and we have copyright law on our side. And uh, the aquarium, frankly, just didn't really have a case. Animals deserve protection and that an essential part of protecting them is people being able to report and publicize situations where they're being abused. And so we're deeply concerned that this lawsuit could inadvertently result in a war on whistleblowers and a war on undercover investigators and a reduction in the reporting and prosecution of animal cruelty. And we made that point today in court, now it's up to the judges.